in the online world of viral creations. Videos and pictures are shared billions of times, but it's hard to know who was the first to do the dance. So what we're doing now is protecting the origin point of where this creativity is coming from. These viral dances on TikTok from creators Blanco Brown, Cookie Kawai, and Jalea Harmon have been shared more than 10 billion times. Now a company called Jadu is creating holograms of the dances to be auctioned off this weekend as NFTs, or non-fungible tokens. Simply put, they're ways to buy and claim ownership of digital art. Everyone can still watch the dances, but only one person will own the original. They'll also help creators monetize viral crazes. Historically, black culture has been exploited or underrepresented specifically in creative art and abstract pieces that are brought and shared with the world. Isaiah Chavis is a recent CU Boulder grad and former class president there. Now he's working for Jadu to create the first hologram NFT that people can buy. The auction began on Juneteenth to make sure black creators earn credit for the viral videos they create. The purpose of this, right, is to not only give social credit, but to create avenues of monetary gain and profit for these artists. Jake Sally is the COO of Jadu, an augmented reality hologram company. As videos are shared and replicated around the world, the goal of the NFT auction will be to give black creators the credit they're due. Originally, you had this dance that was created, people took it, made their own dances with it. Now you're able to actually do the dance with the original creator as a hologram. A world inside of a phone, now becoming profitable for all. In Denver, I'm Mark Salinger, 9 News. NFTs are new in the art world. An NFT digital piece of art actually sold famously for nearly $70 million earlier this year.